everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my February favorites. Um, this video is the first that I'm recording in the Canon camera because I finally got my tripod, so I'm really excited for that. If you see me looking to the side, I'm just checking out the focus and I am not sure, I think I just recorded a tutorial on this makeup look, which if you follow me on social media, you'll know it's what I wore yesterday to my patient um, activity. But right now, I am not sure at all if my camera recorded or not, so I think I may have not recorded it. So if I didn't, I will just redo it um, any of the following days and I'll post it later. But I just wanted to share with you my February favorites uh, for the first time, and let's get started. First favorite is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, and I must say I am so in love with this palette. It is the palette that I use for, for this look that I am wearing right now, and I have a couple favorite shades. I really like um, this shade Almond Truffle, I really like this shade right here which is called mocha i really like this shade here which is called bordeaux and i really like this shade which is called molasses chip sorry the camera is not focusing i really don't know what's going on with my um utility software but it won't focus uh, very well on the items, so I'm having a little trouble with that. But uh, all the items will be listed in the box down below, so you can see. And I just mentioned the name so that you can follow through. Uh, I there's also this really cool like highlighting shade called Satin Sheets, which is a shimmery shade, and it is so absolutely beautiful. Divinity is the one that it's in my brow bone tonight, today. And uh, I really like it. It's a matte like highlighting shade or base shade, so it's really really pretty. Um, some of the other shades I have played with um, that some of the colors I already played with are Bordeaux, Molasses Chip, Dark Truffle. I tried Black Current, which I'm still on the fence about because it looks very purple here, but it doesn't come off as purple when you actually apply it on the lid. So I'm still playing around with some of the colors and I am possibly going to be doing another like tutorial with this uh, very, very soon. Moving on, uh, I really, really like this Wet n Wild Illuminati Concealer Highlight and Concealing Pen. It is very affordable. I mean, you don't get a lot of product, but it has relatively good uh, coverage. And I have really bad under eye circles most of the time. And this has been like, I'm, I've been using this on the daily. I am on the lookout for some other concealers to try. But for right now, I'm really, really liking this one. Then I'm also liking this L'Oreal Color Rich um, shade in 206 Mademoiselle Pink. And this is just a really creamy shade. I don't think I can swatch here and you'll be able to see it, but uh, I already swatched this in the video that I presented it. I will link that video down below. And this color is just a great, like every day if you're looking for a no makeup look, you can apply this on your lid and it will look very, very natural. Or you can use it as a base coat um, for, your, for your eye makeup. So that's really, really nice. Another thing that I have been really really liking and I've been using a lot is the Clinique Ice Lotus Blushing Blush Powder and this is also in that video here you can see it better it's like a shimmery baby pink um, shade it is beautiful it applies and blends like like a dream it is like a dream for blending you cannot like put on too much like if I want to make it like pop, like pop my cheeks, I will usually like mix it with my other um, MAC blush. But the color is just beautiful and I might actually repurchase this once this sample size is gone. Um, next I'm going to be talking about the new L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible um, lip glosses. And these are in my purse every single day. 
Like, you know that back when I started my channel, I was looking for these, I was stocking every single Walgreens around me for these, and I was really looking to try some of the colors, and I have two. I have 318 Bear Attraction, sorry for the motorcycles, um, I have 318 Bear Attraction, and I have Forbidden Kiss, which is like a raspberry purple color, and it is absolutely beautiful. I just did a review on these, uh, I think it went up last week, so you can check that one out too. And these are just great. They are absolutely great. Next is the Too Faced Melted uh, Lip Gloss Lipstick Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Candy. And this color is just so beautiful and the formulation on this is absolutely stunning. So I've been using this quite a ton too. I had a party and I just wear it like for date night. So I've used it quite some several times during this month. Another item that I have been like really liking a lot, I just did a review in last week's video, is the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip, Lip Color Crayon. And these are amazing for every day and I have been using this too when I'm not using the pro mat I've been using this one so these have been like my go-to daily lipsticks for the month of February and finally my other favorites are just like some of the new brushes that I had gotten I am really really liking the real techniques uh, makeup sponge it is be it just applies my concealer beautifully I am in the process of learning how to use this for baking and like setting powder and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. And then I have three brushes, which I am really, really liking. First is the Wet n Wild Powder Brush, which I use like a blush blush. I don't know why, but I really, really like it. It's so soft and fluffy and it just blends everything so beautiful and it's soft and it's just I love it I've been using it almost every day too then I have the real techniques expert face brush and this brush I've been using for my foundation BB cream tinted moisturizer and I even used this for um, powder before I got this one which is what I've been using lately for setting like my under eye powder so this is a very versatile brush and it has been like I've been reaching for this a lot during the month of February. And finally, I have the e.l.f. blush brush, which I got like uh, two weeks ago for my, like using for setting powder. It's a blush brush, but it's so small. Like it's so tiny. It just looks like the setting powder brushes. So I have been using this for that and also for highlighting because of the shape, the tapered shape. It just helps you like apply the highlighter just beautifully. So there you have it guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get videos every Tuesday, I apologize again for last week's video going up uh, a little bit later, but as you know I am a medical student, I have a ton of tests, I've had like 6 tests in the past 3 weeks, so it, my life has been like kind of crazy and I really really didn't have time to edit uh, the video on time and make it go up on time, so I apologize for that. So those of you who are watching, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.